Hi, hi, hi. Hello, my dear students. Welcome, welcome to the world of zoology. Myself, Dr. Sai from Zoology Wala. My dear students, today I am going to explain you about the human skeletal system. So, how many vertebrae are present in the human being body? Vertebrae. How many vertebrae are present in uh, the adult human being? Actually, 26 vertebrae are present. I will tell one thing, cervical vertebrae, cervical vertebrae are 7 in number, thoracic vertebrae are 12 in number, lumbar vertebrae are 5 in number, sacral vertebrae 5 in number but actually fused to form 4, 5 present in the initial and uh, coccygeal c o c c y g e l coccygeal vertebrae 4 in number fused to form only one initially at the time of birth just now i told uh, at the time of birth initially the number of bones will be around 300 but number reduces as the person is growing because of fusion of some bones see here here five bones involved in fusion five bones involved in fusion to form only one my dear friends one not four five bones i mean to say four fused four fused to among the five I mean all the bones fused, the total 5 bones fused, so only 1 will be represented, remaining 4 bones will not be represented here. So 4 bones will be here, 4 bones fused to form only 1 bone here. So if you take the count, 7 plus 12, 19 plus 5, 24, plus 5, 29, plus 4, 33 vertebrae are present when you observe the new one. But here the bones, sacral region and in the coccygeal region, bones underwent fusion. So, 7 plus 12, 19 plus 5, 24, 25, 26 vertebrae are present, my dear friends. 26 vertebrae are present. So, if at all the question comes, how many vertebrae are present in the human being? You have to take 26 but not 33, okay. How many sacral vertebrae fuse means uh, the number of bones present in the sacral region, uh, only one bone is present. Number of bones present in sacrum means we have to take only one. Number of bones present in the coccygeal region, you have to take it one. You should not take the number of bones before fusion. It depends on the question. If adult human being are simply in the question, if he mentions in human being how many bones are present, you have to take one sacral and one coccygeal. You know, sacral region is also sacrum, sacrum after fusion, it is also triangle in shape. Cossix, coccygeal vertebrae fused to form cossix. And cos 6, only one cos 6 is present. So, number of bones 7 plus 12, 19 plus 5, 24, 25, 26 vertebrae are present. Do you want to see the versatile vertebrae? I will show you the vertebrae. These are the vertebrae in human beings. Okay, these are the vertebrae in human beings. These are the vertebrae. Okay, so let me show you one vertebra like this. This is one vertebra, another vertebra, another vertebra like this. Let me take you one simple vertebra to explain. See, this is neural spine. This is called the neural spine, and this is the body, body of the body of the vertebra, or centrum of vertebra. Centrum is not the central part of vertebra, my dear friends. Centrum is the base body of vertebra, and this is the anterior part of centrum, and this is the posterior part of centrum. See, the shape of centrum also will vary. It may be in the heart shape or any form, kidney shape like that. The shapes will vary, but no, nobody is going to ask you in such a detailed way. But this is the anterior part of the centrum and this is the posterior part of the centrum. This is anterior. You see here, anterior part of the centrum is flat, posterior part of the centrum is also flat. If the centrum is flat both anteriorly and posteriorly, you are going to call this as uh, amphiplatean vertebrae. Plati means flat, plati helminthus like that. Amphiplatean. If centrum is flat, anteriorly and posteriorly it comes under amphiplatean vertebrae okay let me write here by checking another board okay number of vertebrae and now amphiplatean type of vertebrae now i am going to represent you the type of uh, vertebrae amphi a m p h i Amphiplatean vertebrae, amphiplatean. Amphi means both, platean means flat. So, centrum, centrum is flat both anteriorly, 
centrum is flat both anteriorly and centrum is flat both anteriorly and posteriorly that is amphiplatean vertebrae best example where these amphiplatean vertebrae are present in human beings uh, you can see the amphiplatean vertebrae there is no space here there is no space anteriorly and posteriorly that is the reason why it may called as an acellus vertebrae a means absent what is absent cellus is absent cellus means space you know coelom is a very important element in the human being body which helps in evolution there are different uh, factors are there for the evolution of an animal formation of tissues is one of the important factor formation of coelom is very important factor the empty space in the human being body is very important if empty space is not there you know organs cannot move freely inside the organ there should be a space outside the organ there should be a space like that space inside the body and body fluid is very important element in the history of evolution of animals my dear friends remember okay so there is no space here for example diagrammatically i want to represent uh, if you want to see the procellus vertebrae for example this is the centrum i mentioned this is centrum and in case of procellus pro means anterior this is anterior this is posterior mason anterior face of centrum this is anterior you can see the anterior and this one is posterior anterior face of centrum is uh, concave then it is called procellus procellus vertebrae so in procellus vertebrae anterior face of centrum is concave posterior is convex posterior convex anterior concavity will be there then it called then it is called procellus vertebrae generally reptiles procellus vertebrae is present in reptiles you have to remember one more thing very important point the number of vertebrae in frog 10 vertebrae are present in the frog some of you uh, may think that sir why sir why the number of vertebrae in frog rat rabbit who is going to ask you okay definitely there may not be a possibility of having a question see there may not be a possibility it means there is a possibility you have to remember this why because there is a very special quality is there in the vertebrae of frog in frog 10 vertebrae are present but all 10 vertebrae they are not going to come under one category okay it's a very old previous question as far as frogs are concerned first seven vertebrae in case of frog first seven vertebrae they comes under first seven vertebrae comes under procellus vertebrae first seven vertebrae comes under procellus vertebrae in case of uh, frog okay opposite to the procellus opisthocelus opi opisthocelus vertebrae opisthocelus vertebrae okay where this opistho means posterior there are some animals where the genital opening is present anteriorly progoniate there are some animals where the genital opening is present posteriorly progoniate and now this is opisthocelus vertebrae it means uh, centrum is opistho celus means space space is present uh, posteriorly you can see here centrum is having space here here centrum is having the space anteriorly and here the centrum is having space posteriorly okay opisthocelus vertebrae a very important vertebrae opisthocelus vertebrae and where do you find this uh, opisthocelus vertebrae where do you find this and another vertebrae i will tell another vertebrae also but before going to see that opisthocelus vertebrae posterior face of the centrum is having a concavity posterior face of the centrum is having the concavity it comes under opisthocelus where do you find this opisthocelus vertebrae opisthocelus vertebrae is present generally in uh, salamanders s a l a m a n d e r salamanders are a type of amphibian you know the something resembles like lizards eh? opisthocelus vertebrae they are generally seen in uh, salamanders okay opisthocelus vertebrae and uh, amphicelus vertebrae see this amphiplatean vertebrae previously i discussed amphiplatean and now amphicelus vertebrae amphicelus vertebrae amphicelus vertebrae the centrum is having the concavity both anteriorly and posteriorly that is the reason why it is called amphicelus vertebrae so amphicelus vertebrae centrum is having concavity 
both anteriorly and uh, posteriorly anteriorly and posteriorly where do you find this uh, opisthocoelous vertebrae i mean amphicoelous vertebrae where do you find this amphicoelous vertebrae these are present generally in uh, cae ci li in c cilians these are generally present in c cilians c cilians are also called blind worms a type of uh, amphibians also these are also type of amphibians they something resembles like snakes that's the reason why they are also called gymnophians gymno means naked gymnosperms angiosperms like that gymno means naked fian o fian means a snake naked snakes so they resembles like snakes when you see them you think oh this is snake no that is not snake that is that is an amphibian so c cilians in case of c cilians uh, you will find the type of vertebrae like this amphicoelous vertebrae and this is opisthocoelous vertebrae and this is procoelous vertebrae in case of uh, frogs uh, first seven vertebrae are procoelous eighth vertebrae in case of frog eighth vertebrae in uh, frog uh, comes under amphicoelous vertebrae eighth vertebrae is amphicoelous vertebrae sir then what about you told nine vertebrae i mean total 10 vertebrae are present in frog first seven uh, first seven comes under procoelous eighth one comes under amphicoelous 10th mm, one obviously will become the last one called eurostyle that is the last vertebra which is very common but what about that ninth one very speciality will be there regarding the ninth vertebrae of frog it is biconvex where i have to write here i will put here okay this one say this biconvex like this this is biconvex vertebrae where do you will find this biconvex vertebrae this is the ninth vertebrae in case of frog the ninth vertebrae in case of frog is biconvex vertebrae my dear students my motto is if at all a question comes from uh, the shape of vertebrae or example of vertebrae you should be in a position to give the answer i know we are discussing the human skeletal system but whenever we are studying the human skeletal system or any system interlinking points uh, it is better to study the interlinking points also say this is anterior face of centrum and this is posterior face of centrum if both the faces of the centrum are flat it is called amphiplatean vertebrae and uh, anterior face of centrum is uh, concave and here posterior face of the centrum is concave and here both anterior and posterior faces of the centrum maintains the concavity and here both anterior and posterior faces of centrum are maintaining convexity okay so like that you can see the types of vertebrae in human beings amphiplatean centrum is flat both anteriorly and posteriorly so these are the type of vertebrae generally in case of human being just now i represented cervical vertebrae you have to represent it you, you can represent with capital c thoracic vertebrae will be represented with a t lumbar vertebrae represented with l sacral vertebrae represented with s coccyx is represented with co only one that's the reason why in an mri scanner ct scan generally we'll see the letters like this t1 t2 l1 l2 co1 like that so c for cervical standard abbreviation t for thoracic cervical region this is cervical and this is thoracic followed by lumbar and then sacral followed by posterior most one caudal caudal vertebrae or coccygeal vertebrae and now without mentioning the first vertebra and second vertebra i can't close uh, the vertebral session say this is uh, the second vertebra and this is the first vertebra what is this the first vertebra is called atlas second vertebra is called axis a very important components i will explain this atlas and axis uh, you know these are very important structures in the entire human uh, being uh, in the entire human skeletal system especially regarding the vertebral column of course each and every vertebra is having its own important characters but this is very important one and this is ultimate very important structure called atlas atlas is the first vertebra on which the skull is going to come and rest how it is going to come and rest i will tell see this here you can see one large opening can you see this large opening yes see my fingers are coming out through this opening what is this uh, what is this what is this this is the foramen magnum foramen magnum is uh, the largest one of the largest opening in the human skeletal system on either side of foramen magnum you can see two condyles so this is one occipital condyle this is another occipital condyle two occipital condyles are present if two occipital condyles are present it comes under dicondylic skull it comes under dicondylic skull a very important structure human being skull is called dicondylic skull yes yes sir is correct what is the reason for it 
two occipital condyles are present. My dear friends, you know assertion reason questions are present. Generally, uh, previously uh, assertion reason questions were there, but in this COVID, uh, some choice was also given, isn't it? Previously, so there is a possibility of having a question from assertion reason also. Better to study. I think most of you know the assertion reason format question. If not, I will put it on the board. But now I am going to begin why this is called dicondylic skull just within one minute.